What's up, guys, and welcome back to Beyond the Void Horror Podcast. My name is Alex, and today we're going to be doing a sequel to Horror in the High Desert called Horror in the High Desert 2 Minerva. So let's check it out. Now, sometime in 2021, a movie came out called Horror in the High Desert, which was put straight to Tubi, I'm pretty sure, and it caught a lot of attention. A lot of found footage fans love to go to Tubi because there is a ton of found footage films that are on there. A lot of these films tend to not even get physical releases, and I think they had a very limited release on Horror in the High Desert. Fast forward to today, we're getting the sequel that's out now for rent on Amazon Prime. You can check it out. It is a sequel to the other one and adds a lot more lore to the background and story of the missing person that we had in the first movie only this time it's missing persons so what is it all about well in 2018 a few tragedies unfolded in the northern nevada desert a woman was found dead in her trailer and another woman is gone missing in the same stretch of road that all of these events are taking place are they connected and is this somehow connected to the 2017 huntsman that went disappearing called gary hinge so i saw the first one a while ago and i actually really thought it was very creative i liked it so much that you know it's kind of one of those faux documentary style that go into a found footage movie so they kind of build you up to kind of juice you up and then show you the found footage to really kind of get you going and it is very effective and i think it's a good combination that is going on here now in the second they do very similar things only they have a couple of different other tragedies that are going on and now they're starting to kind of take in more lore more of a mythos to these sort of stories that are taking place in this area this high desert land that uh, these missing people and dead people are surfacing as if sort of there's something going on in the high desert and i gotta say like some of the atmosphere and the work that they do on these movies are very good and the sequel is doing just as good as the first if not better first of all i just want to say one of the first things and i won't spoil the first one for you in case you haven't seen it but there was some issues with one of the sort of creatures or things in the movie and the first one that kind of gave it away and kind of made it seem a little uh, unbelievable in some regards but it still built you up enough to make you really kind of into what was going on and i kind of had a little bit of issue with the first one because I was like, why would this guy do this? Why, et cetera, et cetera. I feel like they've kind of refixed some of those issues. And uh, in this one, it really kind of goes for a couple of different stories that are actually pretty creepy. And one of them involving a trailer and one of them of a woman who is pulled over to the side of the road because her car is not working functionally in this very dead zone phone area. There's a lot more creepy stuff going on in this one, the sequel. So if you enjoyed the first one, I think you're definitely going to like the sequel. I certainly did. And I think that you will too. It is a little different. Christina was saying that it wasn't as good as the first, but I think it's, it's definitely on to building that lore and i think we're probably going to get a sequel to this so there's going to be a trilogy and uh this kind of feels in some ways like it's building to that third one so that might disappoint a few people there but i think the story and the lore is interesting enough to kind of keep you interested in everything going forward it takes a little while to unfold but you know that's kind of the the whole point of like you know getting you in the mood and kind of starting to build this story that scares you like you would and a campfire tale some sort of horror story that you would tell around the campfire to people you get them juiced up and then their creativity and their imaginations kind of set loose and then you show them the found footage and they do that here multiple different versions of found footage i don't know how to score these ones because i feel like some of these sort of faux documentary slash found footage ones sort of lose their luster after you kind of reveal everything to you uh, because it's sort of in and out of the 
tension, you know? It can be a kind of an odd mixture for some people who just want to be in that world and not worrying about, you know, the news segments and stuff like that. But I think it's really kind of a good idea to have those things. So I'm I'm a little bit torn on some of these because I really do like them. I think they're ingenious and they work really well about building the tension. There's some sly things that are going on in the background that you might not even notice. And they have definitely given this one a little bit more thought as to some of the scarier bits, like what is out there in the high desert? Is there more than one? What is really going on? And they do some really good wordplay with some of the dialogue to kind of build that up for you. So like I said, if you're a fan of the first one, you're definitely going to want to watch this one. And if you want to watch the first one, you can always watch it on Tubi. It's up now. And this one's up on uh, Prime for $2.99. So it's actually really affordable. And I think it was worth the price. I th I'd probably give this one about a seven, you know, and I'd probably give the first one about a seven as well. Like there's some things about it that I like. I found footage is a very particular genre that is, you know, can be hit or miss. Some of them don't age very well. Some of them don't kind of pull off the suspense. Now, is it super scary? I mean, that really kind of depends on you. I think the movie does what it sets out to do i think it is unsettling and creepy you know it's hard to compare because there's it's these two movies are kind of different but they're also kind of similar than each other so it, it's really hard to say but i really did feel unsettled i liked lore so at least that some people are saying it's blowing the first one out of the water i feel like it's about the same and that's a good thing there is some music and some parts in this movie that does have that vibey kind of humming and swirling sound that's going on to kind of really give you that atmospheric feel that is something that some found footage fans are not too fond of although i can't say if it was in the entire portion of the found footage part but you know either way i found it kind of creepy I'm definitely looking forward to the third one uh, even though this isn't my favorite found footage franchise it is definitely doing some things that i think a lot of found footage could learn from the news segments are very real they seem very interesting and real like the the actual interviews that they have with the people seem legitimate and they work and i think that adds to a lot of the legitimacy of these films i didn't lose any kind of connection towards the end of this film like i did the first one a little bit <laughs> in fact fun story this is the franchise the first one i told my girlfriend to watch and i told her it was a real story about this guy going missing in the desert and because it's so believable she really thought it was real she got to experience it in a better way than i got to experience and she was absolutely floored by the first one <laughs> and i think it's because of me telling her that it was a real story and that it'll blow her mind and she really got in and she was like oh my god oh my god so you know this could be very high for a lot of people and if you have someone significant that you haven't watched these with let them know that it is uh you know real still pretty effective still fun watch i enjoyed it i'm looking forward to what dutch marriage has next he is done a couple of things here but it seems like horror in the high desert which he's written and directed have done him the best the only thing i could compare it to would be sort of like uh, the the sort of faux documentary style movie called savage land but this has found footage in it so you're going to have that instead of photographs you're going to actually have video from two different tragedies that occur in this film which is interesting would love to hear what you guys think did you love the first one did you know this one was even out this sort of just popped up and i saw it in one of the groups that i belong to and i had to watch it instantly because of the the story i had with my girlfriend and everything so let me know what you think about this and uh, what you thought of it yourself i'll put a link to everything down below so you can get access to it including the first movie on tubi and the link to the amazon so that way you can watch it but yeah let me know what you think guys and thanks so much for supporting this channel if you enjoyed this content please hit the like and subscribe button and also that little bell notification to let you know when i got a new video coming out i've got a new interview up that you should check out from one of the shutter movies that just came out and i also have a couple of other reviews that you might like so check it out thanks for coming by and as always long live the voyage